Hey folks, I'm back with a real short video. Um, there were several people commented they were having trouble getting a long heat life out of their stove. So I thought I would show how I do it. Um, I can get this with this current formula. I can get a 12 hour heat life, meaning that after 12 hours, I will still have coals. So what I've got is a really large log. I'll show you the bottom there. I start with a big, with a bunch of smaller wood, build a, build a large bed of coals, and then put a giant piece of wood. And I'm going to scroll over here and show you approximately what that is. When I say a giant piece of wood, I mean this is um, a 10 by 4 log that's split. It's actually some crotch wood. Anyway, uh, once you get a nice bed of coals, a really large bed of coals, so you want to burn, you want a, a sizable stack of coals on there so that you will get good combustion. And then you just drop that big log on and let me scroll down. You want your air intake set all the way till it's flush, not completely closed but just flush with that front face. Uh, and of course you want your catalytic converters engaged. And that, um, and the only other thing to uh, doing this is you don't want to empty out all your ash. You want a good supply of ash because that will insulate your coals. If you're cleaning out your stove completely between fires and expect to get a, a really long heat life, you're not going to get it. Um, so you want about an inch of coals, I mean, excuse me, an inch of ash in the bottom of your wood stove before you um, even start the first fire. So anyway, that's really all there is to it. Oh, and you also um, do not want the fan on. This, so this heat life scenario works when it's not horribly cold outside. If it's, um, if it's, if it's, the more heat you pull out of the stove, the, the shorter your heat life will be, obviously. So um, if you do have to run the, the fan, figure out what setting you can run it on at the lowest, you know, it's variable speed. So um, if you need to run it to, to help heat the house, then run it at the lowest setting, but that's going to shorten your heat life. Uh, for me, with this scenario, I have no problems with getting a full... Um, 12 hour burn out of it which is nice because I can go to bed and you know wake up the next morning and I've still got a nice supply of coals to, to start it back up and as long as it's not you know in the in the single digits uh, for my house that's not much of a, of a problem so anyway um, if the other the only other point I can tell you is that if you're not getting secondary combustion which you got that nice blue flame uh, you want to make sure that you're getting proper combustion otherwise you'll creosote up your chimney so if you don't have a large enough bed of coals you're going to have issues so you want to make sure that you've got a really large bed of coals and you want to get that log kind of I, I keep the door cracked for a minute or two until I've got you know flames and then I, I shut everything up so Anyway, um, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Please like and subscribe.